everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the Are you ready to be entertained? Yeah! So let's jump into another episode of Heartstopper, y'all. Season 3, episode 3. I actually just was boiling my eyes out for watching another show, Ted Lasso. I just filmed it. Um, and now I'm like, oh, absolutely. I didn't stop crying before. Let's just continue on with this show, which this show it always makes me hysterically cry. Um, so let's get into it. Clearly, I need to get it out of my system, and this is the only way I know how. So let's do just that. You want to see this in full reaction? Links are down below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and and comments. Without further ado, let's jump into Heartstopper and find out exactly what this show has got to give. 6.45. I wish I could get up at that time. Good morning. Can't wait to see you. Three weeks has felt like a year. <laughs> Bye, Nelly. I love you. So I love you, Nelly. Sheesh. A fast. And your amazing GCSE results. Thanks, Thanks. You should think about applying to be a prefect. Form boys get to wear trousers, so why can't I? You look so. You. Here we go. Yes. How's your summer? Ready to get scared. How's yours? Good. You better get out first. Hmm? And the kids won't show up about it if they find out we're dating. Seeing each other all summer, so. I hope we are. Aww. You'll have to be sneakier than that, or the kids will be saying you're engaged by break time. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I heard they're going out. <laughs> Your birthday on Saturday? Yeah. Do you want to do something? Nick and Charlie. We're going to keep it down or what? Yeah, this isn't Mr. Ajayi's hippie class. You're representing Farouk right now. I'm going to organize something. It will distract me from my brain. Right. Um, <laughs> see you at lunch then. Picnic benches? I guess. Uh, choose a place you both feel safe. Mention the things that have concerned you. Try to avoid making the conversation about food and weight. He's fortunate to have you. Eat in the art room. Just us. Oh Lord, anxiety. Oh my god, Tao! Yeah, but I don't need a minute by minute update of what she's mm. up to. Your whole life, your relationship, Tao. Well, Charlie is, so why can't I? Why not? Yes, you are. You two need to get a life, I swear. Um, if I just... Mr. Ajayi, do you mind if I eat lunch in here today? Uh, it's okay, y'all! A uh, good summer? Prefer eating in here, it's... less stressful. My brain isn't good at the moment. That's okay, we all have bad brain days. Yeah, I have a lot of rules about... Doesn't matter, it's stupid. What happens if you break the rules? It feels like something bad. I know it's silly. No, it... Hi. It... You can open up there. Easier. What are you just talking about? No, nothing, we were just catching up. They were set to give when I came in. It was a weird flirty vibe in Paris. Char, uh, um, about our phone call. Can we not talk about that? I just... I don't want to think about it today. What are we doing for my birthday? Well, that is a surprise. <sighs> was I asleep? We've not been sleeping well. No, I don't know, I'm just... Got no energy. But is everyone coming? <laughs> you didn't have to organise a huge thing. I did. I wish I had a boyfriend. James, no. 
I need at least one single friend, okay? <laughs> Don't you want to be with someone? The idea of it's nice, but, um... Well, it's just not what I actually want. So, you're, like, aromantic? I read a book where there was an aromantic character, and then I thought about what happened with us in Paris and stuff. It's the third time you've rewrapped that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm bad at wrapping, and I want it to look perfect. You eating lunch there? Yeah, if they've got stuff I like. Happy birthday! Thank you. OK, I'm just going to grab my shirt. I'll be in two minutes. Hey, oh. Tori. Hi. Happy birthday. Did you talk to him? Yeah. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to get him to talk to your parents. Well, thank you. For trying. Sure you know where we're going? Yes. And you can't tell me anything? Nope. Ta-da! <laughs> He's like a mini Charlie. Smile. Ooh. Charlie, yes. I'll, I'll take it. What? I'll take it, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, we got it, we got it. You having a good birthday then? The best. Yeah. Excuse me, ladies. Oh? Don't you hate when people call you ladies? Do you really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, I'm not a lady, it's weird. This week's been a lot. In a good way? I mean, the pictures from your Instagram look great. Having to make new friends again, finding my way around a big new school, being with you guys is like being home. Oh, come look at this. Well, it's just so painful for you to have to hang out with us and not with your girlfriend. <laughs> not bitter, you've just not been a very good friend lately, Tao. All you care about is your relationship. If you're so sad about being single, what happened to James? I got this. Hold my beer. Let me tell you something, Tao. You better back the f up. I was on your team since season one, but what you're not gonna do is start bullying other people. This is the problem. Some ugly, let me not go there. Some people wanna cut their hair and make it look wet 24 seven and then go get a girlfriend and then they wanna bust out of their mouth and try to get crazy with other people. You better back the f up before you get messed up. Up. Oh, he is rude. So disrespectful. Don't talk to him. Oh. Oh God, he's not hungry. Hey, should we should we go somewhere quieter? No, it's fine. Sorry. I... He hasn't eaten. I'll be fine. Guys, this is really uncomfortable. Well, I'm not apologizing, but neither am I. Tao is so mature. Right. Come on, I want an ice cream. Tao and I were just in that. Obsessive phase. It'll pass. I was so obsessed with Nick when I liked him. <laughs> and Ben. <laughs> kind of thought you didn't really like Ben that much. Maybe. It's supposed to be comforting Isaac right now. None of you will help him, but thanks. Cheers. Go on, look. Have you want one with ketchup on it? Do I have that to. Yeah. Yes, you do. Tell me what. what you said to Isaac earlier was kind of mean. Maybe we've been ignoring him and all of our friends. I think from seeing you, like, every single day to not at all, I've been like... <laughs> you've been like... Moping? I've been a bad friend too. I barely saw Tara and Darcy all summer. You got angry at Charlie for doing the exact same thing we've been doing. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. I've been ignoring you guys since me and Elle started going out. Romance goggles on. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great. But I've been a bad friend. I've just felt like a third wheel all summer. Yeah. That's fair. It seems like being in a relationship is the most perfect, magical thing anyone could ever hope for. Yes, it's just really hard when I know that's not what I actually want. This one's I guess I'm still just coming to terms with that. Do you think there are any gay fish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In love? Oh, I hope so. What about the ones who don't fall in love with any gender? I don't think they're on their own. They've got loads of friends. His friends were, were couples and flaunting their magical relationships everywhere they went. I don't think we're talking about fish anymore. <laughs> I don't really know how to feel okay with it yet, uh, with being asexual, romantic. It, it, uh, it changes everything I thought I knew about myself. I just realised I like Charlie. I cried at an Am I Gay quiz. <laughs> it's a process. We love you. You just sit down. I feel really tired. Is there something wrong with Charlie? 
Uh, I don't think I'm the one who should be talking to you about this. So should I ask Charlie? No, please don't do that. You cannot talk to him about it. But why? Because he can barely talk to me about it. Look, Carol, you haven't been around. Calm down. Thank you, Gift, for the best birthday ever. <laughs> you are so cringe. I love you. <laughs> should we, uh, should we call it a day? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Charlie. To every jumper you've ever bought. Well, they don't smell like you anymore, so. So you're back like as close because you want her smell. <laughs> you have to keep one. You like when I wear your clothes? Yeah. There's a, an actual present at the bottom of the bag. Another one? Mm. You didn't see that? Wrapped very neatly. Already. Yeah, I'm really tired all day. Ash, go home. Charlie, uh, and I'm really glad we talked about all the, the mental health stuff. I'm just still really worried about you. It's, it's not just the eating thing. I've noticed you've been really stressed and, and, and tired. I've, I've said the wrong thing and um, I didn't know what to do. I know, I know you don't want me to try and fix you. I love you so much. And I couldn't help but try. I realize now that I just can't. Your parents or a doctor or something like that. I'm sorry. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I just don't feel like I could ever get me back. You just, you, you just have to ask for help. What if my parents think I'm faking it? Or they get angry at me? I could come with you. I'll be less likely to get angry if I'm there. It helps to write things down. <laughs> Might sound silly. Maybe that could help you talk to them. Um, Charlie, is it a bit late for Nick to be over? He's not staying long. God, she's like the worst. I need to talk to you about something. Thought he'd wear grey with an orange shirt, uh, whatever the fuck that is. That's why she's irritating. Turn it down, because it's... It's really hard to say. My mental health has been really bad lately. I've been finding eating really difficult. A voice in my head that's not me. Tell me bad things will happen if I, if I eat. Sometimes it makes me feel really stressed, or tired or angry. I think I've been like this for quite a long time. I was thinking maybe I could go to the doctors about it. Maybe they could help. I want to get better. Taking shelter. Well, well, I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess. Listen, the reason why I record as soon as I'm done filming, no matter if I'm a mess or not, is so you guys get the authentic real me and I'll walk away forgetting everything that I wanted to say. This was the, <clears throat> the ending of that episode was super powerful. You know, I was thinking that, um, let's look at a few things I was watching this. This show is not only a good show because of the acting and the characters, the actors and the actresses, but the message is so strong for people part of the LGBT plus community or even our allies, which will make people who aren't in the community be a part of the community by watching this and understanding more of what people go through every single day. And it doesn't even just touch only on the LGBT plus community, it also touches on mental health and mental awareness, which is such a strong thing for me. Uh, many people know, as I've said before, I suffer from depression, I suffer from ADD. Uh, depression comes and goes, especially like when it, uh, holidays, stuff like that, like so many other people out there. And it's just good. I was in the middle of this, I was like, Charlie, or more towards the ending, I was like, Charlie and Nick have such a toxic, for me, 
they have a good relationship, but it's also toxic, toxic because they're so dependent on each other. And I know that they're young, but I wish that they like figured things out, especially Charlie. I wish that he was strong enough to like just stop over about Nick. Like I feel like the show also lets you know about yeah relationships are good or whatever case and scenario is. Also lets you know that you don't need to be in a relationship um, dealing with Isaac, but also to show you the other side of being in a relationship that you can turn toxic. Look at Tao. Tao is is so consumed with his girlfriend that he doesn't think about other people and then at the ending I was like uh, this was not Tao's g greatest episode y'all because it made me want to like swing swing and not miss um I would be pulling his hair child child if I was 16 and in this group they I would be together I know I would be the, the most ratchet one because I'm like excuse me Tao what you just said to him bam 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 and then I'll be friends with him that's <laughs> like in 10 minutes uh <laughs> I'm like, everybody's gonna get it together in this episode. Um, but overall, like, you get to see it, and then you get to see how Charlie is. Charlie's like giving back all his clothes because not because he wants to give him back his clothes, but because his clothes is not like him no more. Like, it's not like Nick anymore. I'm like, oh god, like the like. And there's so many times I don't know. I would get super turned off by like a guy having my clothes and then giving it back to me because it doesn't smell like him. I know it's supposed to be cute and they're young, so like I'm trying to remember how it was being 16, but. By that time, when I was 16, I was dating girls, and uh, I never wanted them to even touch me. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my god, I'm dating you because we're in high school and it's a thing. <laughs> but I really don't like you, sis. Oh, leave me alone. Um, but anyways, I did, and I did have a girlfriend at 16. Um, so regardless, I had, a, I, had a, I had a lot of girlfriends in high school, elementary school, even. I had a girlfriend in like second and third grade, which is like, why do people have girl like kissing? buying gifts like i don't know what my family was thinking um but regardless so this shows like it shows that dark and light side of dating and then by the ending ending of it i was like oh well, thank god charlie has nick because there's so many people out there that do not or can or feel like they cannot make it right and then and there's people out there that really do end them you know end their lives uh dealing with health crisis mental health and even just recently on my my facebook there's people i didn't know them i've gone to i've been in cl i didn't go to clubs with them but i've been in clubs or the scene with them and i haven't gone to a club in i don't know how many years but i have been in the, the gay scene with them when i went to new york city and i used to see them and i found out uh recently in the past couple of years especially after the pandemic hit people you know definitely felt felt very depressed and a lot of people that I know know back then are not here anymore and they we're all really young so I'm happy that Nick is there for Charlie and also the viewers get to see that there's a, the dark side of mental health but there's people out there you just need to reach out open up which is it's easier to say than actually do um and his mother I don't know, they definitely made Charlie's mom like Darth mom. Like Darth as in like a Sith Lord. Because I've been like five or six times wanted to take this shit and throw it in her face. Charlie, isn't it kind of late for Nick to, uh, you're such, you're, I don't know what's going on mother, but you are so out of touch that you don't even realize when your son is upset. There's no way that my mom would not know that her children are upset. You could tell by his demeanor, he's coming in, he's coming in with Nick holding his hand, he's coming in, like his head is down. You can tell and you're like, Nick, um, is it, is it kinda late for? I would, if I was Nick, I'd be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like, that's what I would say. And like, I'm just like, I don't hold my tongue. Don't hold your tongue, people. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm just, I was so over it. They pissed that she really pissed me off. And then I was bashing her for like 2.5 seconds. So I was like, oh my God, you're wearing gray and gray and, and orange, whatever the fuck that is. But I actually really like that outfit. <laughs> it matched her hair. So <laughs> no shade, no tea. Um, but she's just like super annoying. I'm like, and she wasn't like that in season one and season two. A little bit in season two, but I didn't find her annoying. Other people did with like, I thought that she was on the right path being like, listen, my son is a little too obsessed with um, a boy and he needs to focus on his schoolwork. I got that. But when your son is now obviously showing signs that he's going through things, girl, he's been showing you signs since, since the first episode of this season, Sissy Pop. He's not even eating, Sissy Pop. And it's not because your, your food is in season. 
difference is, I love how somebody was trying to correct me on roast pork. <laughs> <laughs> in the last reaction, whoever that was, uh, shout out to you. I was dying. I think I was in bed and I wrote, read what somebody wrote, read about roast pork and then some about roast chicken. I can't remember what the exact words were and I started gagging over here. Gagging, gagging, gagging. In like a good and a bad way. Um, well, you can never gag in a bad way, can you? Um, it's a TV show for everybody. Rated E, get back together, Andre is trying. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, I was just like, she's just super annoying. And then the father got super upset out of like, like I understand, like once you start hearing the child, like he, but he was like really upset. I was like, well, can he finish the sentence? All he said was, I have mental, and then you started breaking down. It's like, you kind of knew what was going on anyways. I think he was just trying to sell the scene, the father. What really, the emotional driver of this episode and of this season so far is definitely Charlie's sister. She is bringing it, y'all. Even me thinking about her makes me want to start tearing up. She, this actress, is really bringing the concern and how how bad she feels for Charlie and everything Charlie's going through. She's making me feel every moment of it, and I love it. I love her bringing me through her feelings. Oops, sorry, Gold Mike. Gold Mike's like, don't hit me. I'm so sorry, child. I need to dust you off. Um, look. <laughs> Gather around the gold mic. I'm sorry, the gold mic. It, it, how how can I hit this beautiful gold mic? Gold mic is literally part of this uh, channel. Um, <laughs> who got me? Oh, my sister. Shout out to my sister who doesn't watch my reactions. Um, so, anyways, very very good episode, and she's so the sister. Amazing, 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 amazing. Um, um, Isaac once again tr explaining him the whole the whole premise of this episode was talking, having that conversation, that hard conversation, and Isaac finally told him about being asexual and aromantic, which I still don't know what aromantic is. I could Google it. I kind of got the gist of it from Isaac, um, which is crazy. Once again, the show is teaching even me about these terminologies that I don't know, or genders, or sexualities that I really just don't know anything about. Um, but he's explaining, and then his friend group finally is like starting to understand, like, let me include him, let me understand what, he, you know, how he feels. He's always the third wheel it always bothers me feeling uh watching it i always get like very grossed out like how they don't realize what they're doing is that gross i'm sorry uh i was like <laughs> uh, i'm a pig clearly winnie of the poo um but yes um a great 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 episode and i really can't wait i think somebody said that this is not even the episode that is like the episode. I think they said it's episode four. Uh, season three, episode four, or season three, episode five. They was like, be, get ready, y'all. Get ready. Listen, honey, I was born ready. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please check out all my other reactions. And until next time, I'm off this. Nobody trying to figure out if they could or evil. I'm fighting the crime, saving your lives, one at a time. I'm killing the rhymes, I do it for the people. I'm Peter Parker running through the six for the bag.